Welcome back to problem 1.22, part B. So we're going to start by doing the graphical analysis first, like we did with A. So again, we're on part B here. So we're looking at the vectors A minus B. <clears throat> so first thing you want to do, just because we're on a computer and we can do this and it makes it easier, is let's trace our vectors. So let's get vector A and vector B over there. All right. Okie dokie, so we're looking at vectors A minus B. So when we were doing vector addition, we would take the first vector, add on the second vector, and then connect them from where we started to where we ended. So vector subtraction is a little bit different. So we're gonna take our first vector and then we're subtracting our second vector. So instead of putting it tip to tail, we're gonna go tip to tip. So this is essentially performing the same action as if we had taken vector B and then flipped it all the way over. So instead of pointing up and to the right, it points that way. So now our, let's go purple. We connect where we started. So A, wow, that was an ugly line. <laughs> it fixes it for you, that's nice. A minus B is gonna be pointing that way. So that's vector A minus B, boom, boom. Alrighty, so now we can do this numerically just like we do with addition. So first we want to break them up into their components. So we did this in part A, so I'm just going to kind of write them back down. So A had zero I hat, 100% of its vector in the downward J hat, so we get that minus. Vector B was 15 sine 30, because that's the opposite leg. So sine of 30 is a half times 15. So that gave us 7.5 I hat. And for a full explanation of this, please see part A. And then we were going at five meters. Nope, that was our Oopsies, that was our resultant, not our uh, 15 times cosine of 30, which was 13. That was 13 meters in the J hat. So just real quick, our X gives us sine 30 and our Y is cosine which is where we get the seven and a half and the 13. Okay, so now instead of doing A plus B, we're doing A minus B. So zero minus 7.5 is negative 7.5 meters. I had, don't forget your units, that will kill you on the test. Units, units, units. Negative eight meters minus 13 meters is negative 21 meters j hat. So if we check with our picture, this tracks, we're going to the left and we're going down. So we expect both of these to be negative. So to find the magnitude of A minus B, we can do our Pythagorean theorem negative 7.5 meters squared plus negative 21 meters squared square root of 7.5 squared plus 21 squared Bam. is 22.3 meters. So that's our magnitude. And we can find our direction 
by this is not drawn to scale at all making our fake little triangles. So we know that our hypotenuse is now 22.3. We know that our x leg is negative 7.5 and our y leg is negative 21. So if you punch this into your handy dandy calculator, so let's use tangent again. So if we're gonna be measuring from the positive x axis, the way that your handy dandy calculator is going to spit this out for you is it's either going to give you this angle or it's going to give you negative this angle. So you need to do a little bit of analysis to figure out what it's telling you. So if we do tan theta is equal to opposite. So let's say that this is our angle. So opposite is negative 21 over adjacent toa, yeah, toa. So then if we inverse tangent both sides, minus 21 over 7 point, minus 7.5. So your calculator, let me rewrite that, sorry, that's ugly. Your calculator cannot tell the difference between negative 21 over negative 7.5 and positive 21 over positive 7.5. So what we're actually going to be getting out of here, ooh, let me redraw that really fast. So if we inverse tangent, negative 21 over negative 7.5, we get out 70.3 degrees. But where is that measured from? So that's this angle here, which from good old geometry, vertical angles, rules and stuff, is also gonna be this angle here. So the way that you would report your uh, direction is you could either say 70.3 degrees below the negative x axis. So this is what I meant in part A where you need to be specific because the convention is from the positive x axis. Or you could say 70.3 plus 180 Uh, I don't know what that is off the top of my head. So that's 250.3 degrees from positive x axis. So both of those are acceptable answers. If you just said 70.3 degrees, period, that would be wrong because that is measured that is assumed to be measured from the positive x-axis. So make sure that if it's not measured from the positive x-axis, you specify where it's being measured from. Cool, cool. All righty. So we are going to hop into part C and D in another video as well.